I want to call out a stupid mystery method that they have no proof for day game. No proof whatsoever. Fake news, fake game. The very first thing I've noticed was self-proclaimed high lay count guy. He started to post a stupid fucking clip of him. Oh, it's a pole. It's like walking to a cab or some shit like that. First of all, walking into a cab is not a pole. Mystery method is incapable of a same day lay for this Tinder ass clown. And second of all, ABCs. For all their boot camp students that they're getting recently, nobody has gotten laid. And that's the funny thing because I have a few students laid. I have a black student recently who banged a Russian brunette and also a blonde woman. In one approach for the brunette and two approaches for the Russian blonde. Of course, you say, oh, because he's black. But the other black student, he pulled. He didn't close because he didn't use my exact fashion that I recommended him. Okay? So nobody's perfect. Third of all, there was another student who was Latino. You just saw his testimonial and everyone dismissed it. After five lays, two girlfriends at the same time, one white girl, and recently one lay. And then just today, my Chinese student who went to Latin countries came back to Asia and he fucking bangs a model that was visiting his country. In his fifth fucking approach, I mean, the other black student who just pulled did not get laid. His old approach was five approaches. They tied. He was an RSD victim. So first of all, if I'm getting all these late testimonials, in one week, I almost have more than self-proclaimed high late count guys entire fucking career of four. And I think that's fucking stupid. So I want to talk about the mystery method. First of all, if you're pulling to a cab, that is not a fucking pull. I made this white plausibility chart. This white plausibility chart is exactly the same fucking thing that happened months ago as I was talking to this old little Indian student who was completely shocked since nothing fucking happened. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. You can see like Instadate or fucking number clothes or whatever. Pull to a cab or seeking arrangements legion. It's like, good for you. It's bullshit. Nothing happened. No open to sex. And even in the future, if you pull the women and you pour water on her tits, that doesn't mean anything. Dancing with a, on top of a cake or something. But we don't see anything else in between. So first of all, I call it no proof whatsoever. So mi- Mystery method shows no proof. Mystery himself did not show any proof except a phone number close. And doing fucking magic tricks. That's the most autistic shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Second of all, let's talk about ABCs, which is using the mystery method. We look at some of their instructors, for example. We look at the main instructor. We've never seen anything more than a kiss. For a day game, there's no fucking proof. So they have a night game kiss in field or some shit like that is that it they say they're so good at day game there's no fucking proof second of all you had another instructor who was kind of short like five foot six he claims through his long infields of indirect and lots of comfort building that a woman came back into his place but we don't get to see that we only see him texting the women some half asian women seriously of course, that instructor never insulted me or attacked me in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He looks like somebody who works for your company and is very unhappy. But I digress. But he can't fucking speak about it. Third of all, we look at another instructor of yours. And he was like saying, he's lifting up this fat blonde woman. And he's saying like, oh, I love pineapples. That was the most autistic infield. Not only did he only got a phone number close, the best he's ever got is that's it. It went nowhere. Not even a fucking pole. Then you had this beta Asian guy. I heard in Asia, he's banged some Asian women here and there. But however, in the United States, he sucks shit. He walks her into a side of a building. He cuts his infield and is like, yes, you're an instructor now. 
So the entire ABCs of low self-esteem has no proof. The very fact that ABCs of low self-esteem has no proof and self-proclaimed highly kind guy has no proof disproves the mystery method. All your theories are bullshit. So if one of them has four day game late testimonials for self-proclaimed highly count guy and the other one has six, you hear a lot of stupid theories. Oh, you can't split your hair because whatever. But two of my students, one's from your place, California. He lost his virginity with a split hair, so it doesn't fucking matter. This is just opinions as facts. They say a lot of stupid-ass opinions as facts as if it was true. But since they have so few late testimonials, it debunks everything. Like, oh, you, the Asian poker face. In reality, you should be learning how to switch your emotions, kind of like now, learning how to hold the emotions like this so it doesn't flate and then switch over to the other one and then hold on to it. And then when you need to switch it again, it's better to be congruent. It's not like, oh, just emote. Now you switch too many times, like too many gears. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, guys, how is it going? You made all the Asians flamboyant as RSD Tyler. Doesn't make any sense. Now let's use more facial expressions, learning how to hold it. So it makes it so much better, especially when you do it like that. And I'm still holding on to this one because it's a fucking hilarious. Get it? it looks way more natural. The very fact that they say, oh, it's a three second rule or, you know, or they say, oh, you've got to move it forward and sexualize it. Or they use compliance tests like Mr. Pineapple. Everything in the mystery method is practically debunked just by these ass clowns and mystery himself because they have no proof because ABC is the first guy. Only a texting is not proof of a poll and the poll does not prove like that's actually a lay. Where the fuck is it open to sex? Number two, you have Mr. Pineapple who didn't even fucking poll. Number three, you have this Fabi Asian who moved her to a building. And number four, you finally hire a tall instructor, your Yao Ming, because you can score any fucking points. And he was so narcissistic and gamey in his fucking infield. It's just nothing but tactics. Okay, so he got the women back home. Congratulations. But she was not on the fucking bed, was she? She was not on the fucking bed. So you don't know what happened. But at least he got her home because of his tall height and good looks. That means if that's as far and they're willing to show that much, it means they never actually closed in day game. This debunks the mystery method or the misery method that is even capable of a same day lane. Like, oh, don't split the hairs or, you know, don't have the bangs or whatever. But I was banging women with both of them. My students were doing it too. One guy over here with his hair kind of like that. Yeah, like three fuck buddies. This guy from London. This little short little Vietnamese guy with the same color hair. But mine's kind of growing a little bit out. And for him, two models, one Asian, one white girl. And a third woman who's a fuck buddy who's white. Second of all, a guy lost his virginity. And third of all, your stupid theories about, oh yeah, have Asian pride, don't try to be too whitewashed. But that's the problem, because now you're gaming the Asian carps. The Asian carps are like, oh, so Asian pride, we should never assimilate, because let's act like a carp. Because that's how they get your money. These guys are not even getting laid for day game in their stupid boot camps. Discomfort camps. It has nothing to do for my students to do with this inner game nonsense, bullshit. This inner game brainwashing that you are enough. It's the same as RSD. It's just the RSD Asian version. That's completely Machiavellian because it makes a lot of money. For my students, they just have five mindsets. Teachability, changeability, skills, believability, and manifestation, their thoughts and feelings. And they have a little bit of grit. And for this, oh yeah, you should never be whitewashed or act white because you don't get it, you motherfuckers. Right now, I have exactly 42 Asian laid po testimonials. Right now, I only show 38 there. But after today's student, that's already 39. Plus another Chinese student who may or may not come from your place, who also got laid in three approaches. That's 42. And what do you have? Like fucking six? In the past, I have forgiven you. 
because you're able to get late testimonials for night game. But now you're not getting anything. You're hurting the Asian people. You're ruining their lives. This is unacceptable. And you just go on showing how good of a marketer you are on TikTok. Have I not gotten these three late poll testimonials? Three lays. Plus another poll, which a student already got laid before. Then I don't have the right to speak. But since I had that, and plus every single lockdown, every single variant, I have gotten laid testimonials. I have passed the crash test. And people don't understand that fucking zombies are like, Oh, what do you mean by crush test? I don't get it, John. I don't get it. Don't you motherfuckers see if they only got four day game late testimonials and six. 15 out of 35 for night game because you don't need social skills and social calibrations. Mystery is an Aspie fuck or Asperger syndrome. He's a technical guy, just like these other guys with their jobs. They're technical, they're hyper-analytical, or Asperger, socially impaired, high-functioning autism. Allegedly. Of course, they can say, oh, I didn't get any diagnosis for that. Well, neither did I. And I went to the top doctor for Asperger's in Canada. Guess what? He says, you're not Asperger's, John, because you think not surface level. You have depth in your thinking. So get out of my office. You have something else. It's not that. Okay, fine. But you may say that, but let's let's be real here. I mean, mystery is hyperanalytical too. And he's extremely Asperger's to the max. Monotone, or they talk like, hey, how's it going? Uh, like R.S.D. Tyler, who's also autistic. You don't have enough social skills and social calibrations to do day game. You don't. So you try to use DHV stories and all this compliance test and all this opinions as facts. But your students are not getting laid in day game. So therefore, this is my rebuke. You can continue to gaslight the students. But I'm thinking many years from now, your solution can not only be night game. Because if that's true, and you claim you have the full package, which you don't, you are literally giving them half a pizza. That is equivalent to fraud. What do I mean by fraud? The definition of fraud is kind of like, you're getting money, monetary gains, and you're not giving them the solution. I had the solution for day game. I should be taking care of all the Asians for day game. If only 54% of Asian women will marry a white guy. You see, that's the problem. You get these guys so pissed off with your pain points. But in reality, you're part of the problem because you're telling them to dress like Asian carps, to have Asian pride and dress like shit. But you don't realize it's not just the Asian students that dress more whitewashed, fit in their tribe. Because why make it harder on yourself? You create the problem and then you brainwash them that they're enough. It's not just the Asian students that gets whitewashed for my students. It's the black students too. Even the white students who dress like RSD zombies with baggy clothing. It's also the Latinos, the Middle Easterns, they all whitewash. Indians too. If Indians don't whitewash, they become 2 out of 10 for the perceived natural status. So if that's the case, every student whitewashes, and I have 506 late poll testimonials, then maybe I know what the fuck I'm talking about, because it works. If it works, then people should do more of it. But instead, here you are, with your opinions as facts. The very fact that you guys only have 4 day game late testimonials, and 6 we can already safely assume all your concepts only work for night game. And sh this is the problem. So you bring it to day game. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. It's just opinions as facts. And I have facts as opinions. So this is the video about mystery with the lack of same day lays. It's impossible because there's no proof. Nobody's going to buy the pole in the cab. I mean, this is the problem with white plausibility. You can just... Show no proof whatsoever and just say, oh, oh, I did banger. Can you fucking show us? You walked into a cab. How is that a pole? Did you whip out your dick in the cab? Uh, at least this time? Did you do it? No. Then how the fuck is that a pole? What if she leaves as soon as she leaves the cab and just leaves? We don't know that. Where the fuck is a clip in the bedroom? Oh, no, you can't do that. You can't show that kind of stuff. It's just nothing but excuses. Well, show us a fucking screenshot of some sort.
Show us her walking through your door. Show us something. This is the problem with white plausibility. And you're like, how does ABC, is this white plausibility, they're an Asian company. No, mystery is white. White people with no social skills are not the same as the blue pill. And also, they're not the same as the naturals. They have social skills. These guys are fucking autistic ass clowns for a mystery. So therefore, this is why the audience is at fault too. Because the audience is just as autistic as mystery. Just as autistic. So what happens is you look at all these ass clowns and they're roasting each other. But they have exactly the same fucking testimonial count. Like James Marshall and self-proclaimed high lay count guy, Tinder ass clown. They have exactly four day game lay testimonials. Todd V has three. But now they beat Todd V by one. ABC has six. I mean, what the fuck? Six. That's it? Versus 506. And they'll even have the audacity or nerve to say, Oh yeah, nobody has hundreds of testimonials. I have 506, motherfucker. What do you have besides padding your testimonials? Saying like, oh, uh, anyone who gets over a red pill is stuffed there. Or boot camp reviews from ABCs. Boot camp reviews? This is a comfort camp, not a boot camp. These guys did not get late for day game. So why would you give a good review if you didn't get late? So, oh no, you got to be more polite. You got to be more polite to them. Why be more polite? Sometimes you need a little bit of discipline. You need a little bit of discipline. Otherwise, they're not going to learn anything. And you just collect their money as a comfort camp. This is my rebuke. And shame on you. Shame on you. Remember, your audience will be fooled for now. But eventually this year, the misery method. Like I said, I predicted everything like Nostradamus. I predicted the fall of RSD. The fall of Justin Wayne. The fall of Queefing. Cancelled. Casanova. Every single prediction is 100% correct. 100% correct. The mystery method is the newest quatrain of Nostradamus or John Elite Nostradamus. And on that note, that's all I got to say as I'm moving my facial expressions, switching at the very last second, because that's more congruent to what I'm trying to say rather than just going, oh, yeah. Oh, hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> or else self proclaimed high lake guy. Oh, yeah, you know, because mystery says that uh, you should. Emote, because that's one of the attraction switches. Like, blah, right? I'm going backward. I might try and move my face, because, you know. That's... No, you need some congruency, motherfuckers. Especially some congruency, like when you're flirting or something. And learning how to hold the notes like that. That's how you got to learn how to do it. And other times when you're teasing stuff, you know. You got to be congruent. You got to learn how to switch the emotions. You got to learn how to hit the right notes. Especially when you're just, now I sound like I'm positive, happy, fun, carefree, positive vibe. I can speak exactly like ABCs. They speak like this to gaslight you. You see that? By sounding so friendly, this is how they don't trigger the Asian carps. And when I say carps, I mean like the invasive species, the out tribe. The fucking out tribe. Those species of the out tribe. So therefore... When you act like carps, you create a new problem. Just like my black student who used to live in China. He cannot demand people treat him with equality because he is black and he doesn't live there. This is not your country either. Now I'm connecting, right? I'm being congruent. I'm connecting, especially my tonality. I can change the emotions. And I'm just saying, agents, right now, that... You don't have the right to demand the media or anything has to suck up to you and forgive you if you act like the out tribe, like the carps. And it's not just my students who are whitewashing. It's more like you're using the white man's body armor. Does that make sense, Asians? You're stealing their hairstyle. You're stealing their clothing. You know, the outside vest, like the soldier. You're stealing their camel boots. You're stealing your helmet, hairstyle, everything. And you're using it against our women. Like Sun Tzu says, 
augment your enemy's strength and use it to boost your army or something like that. I'll put the quote there. But now that you understand me a lot better, that is my rant. You put yourself in the Owl tribe and they try to reinforce that saying you are enough. The Asian masculinity movement. You have been manipulated completely. They got you perfectly. That's all I got to say about mystery. Debunking mystery method. And the very fact that these guys have never showed the same delay from open to sex. Since they never showed it. Fucking fake news. The lying media. The lying <laughs> mystery method media. They're worse than RSD. Mystery is a tumor. RSD is a cancer. And on that note.